Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I have an awesome unboxing and hands-on look of the G-Story integrated LED monitor for the Nintendo Switch. You want to have a bigger screen on your Nintendo Switch and still keep it portable? This is it. <laughs> this will make your Nintendo Switch screen upgrade to 10.1 inches, 1080p, 60fps, of course, 100% SS. SRGB and of course this can actually use um, battery so you can actually recharge them and not be connected to the power uh, but it uses these type of battery 18650 they're not included in the box which was a bomber because I don't have these kind of batteries and these kind of batteries are not easy to find where I live at so you can find them I'll leave links in my descriptions for those type of batteries on from Amazon there the whole bunch there um, here you got instructions on how everything works here very easy to understand but this is a very easy to use device now if you've been following my channel you know that i already did a screen one of these type of screen this one right here which is which is the orion and this one like you see here in the back i have a battery attached to it and it's pretty cool but the screen was not very good at all i think it was like 720p and the quality of the screen was not that bright at all this one is freaking cool compared to that one this one is way way better so i'm just gonna take this out of course i already did use this oh by the way by the way when you buy one of these devices um it says that you get a randomly selected bag this is the randomly selected bag that i received so i can see it's not a exact bag to carry or like to, for just your nintendo switch is a multi-purpose bag see multi-functional bag very cool very nice looking strong capacity and here you could basically put nintendo switches um whole bunch of devices cell phone maybe a small laptop and tablet as well so yeah, this is what I got. Just wanted to show you guys that when you buy the screen, you actually get one of those bags. The design in the inside is totally different. So you got the instruction manuals here, which is very easy to understand. Let me see. You also have this USB-C cable, but I found something weird about this USB-C cable because this USB-C cable is, you know, USB-C on one side and it's a USB-C female port on the other side so i don't know if this was intended to be like that or it was a mistake and they sent me the wrong cable i don't know but yeah it came with this cable so yeah i haven't been using it because i rather use my proper cables let's go and take this out and let's go and take this out there you go and here is the device so here we are from the back side and on the front side this is how it looks okay so i switched to a better angle for the camera that way we can have a better view of the device so here let's go and show you guys around this is where you're going to put your joy cons right let's go ahead and start doing that right now put joy cons right there so you guys can see how it actually works you can put joy con like that it slides in and you have the joy con you put it like that and that's it it connects right there but of course we're going to need to put the nintendo switch in the inside and over here you got this is attached to the device to the body right there like you see with screws um, over here this is where you can actually connect rechargeable batteries i'm just going to take this out like i said the batteries are actually 18650 18650 so they're like double a's but bigger and you would put them right there it takes two of them uh keep in mind depending on the size of the milliamp per hour of the batteries because you could get one of these and they come in different milliamp per hour batteries depending on the milliamp per hour batteries is the battery life you're going to get on this device like for example based on what i've read a 3000 milliamp hour battery can give you almost like an hour or an hour and a half of game time um here you have this button right here Whoop. you got this button right here that lets you shut down the power of the batteries when the device is in standby that way you're not burning actually batteries so you could turn this on or off and this is will only work when you have batteries in here 
But right now, since I received this device without batteries, and that's how you're gonna get it, without batteries, that's why I decided to go ahead and make the video like this. Yes, I am thinking of getting the batteries, that way I can see how it actually performs with the batteries. It has this right here, which can work like a handle or kickstand. So that's the cool thing about this device, it actually has an option for a kickstand. Now right here, you're gonna connect your Nintendo Switch right there, facing that way. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it right here. Uh, keep in mind, I'm using the OLED version, so this is compatible with any Nintendo Switch version. That right there, and that's it, it slides right away. You can use the kickstand. If you don't wanna use the kickstand, you could just close it like that, and it looks a little bit more flatter. I think it actually looks pretty cool because it looks a lot more cleaner than the other option that I was using like a year ago. And I think also the fact that it has rechargeable battery option, that's very cool. It has two speakers. The speakers are right here. One, two. Both of them are two watts each. And they sound pretty good, pretty loud. Not amazing, but they sound pretty good. So you got one here and one here. And basically that's it. There's nothing more to actually look around here. Now, oh, over here. Yeah, you got buttons. Up is you start the brightness and down when you press the down button first you start volume control and you got a power button right there to turn off the screen since this has no power right now it won't turn on on this side you have the usb-c port now one thing about the usb usb-c port i think it's in a very odd location there because if we try to plug in the usb-c cable oops try to plug in the USB-C cable it it's a little bit hard you know it's a little bit hard because it's it's this thing it's like in a way it's almost blocking the path to connect the USB-C port so I have my own USB-C cable that I'm using which is this one that adds like an angle to the to the cable so I'm going to be using this one right here since you know if you don't have batteries integrated you're gonna have to use output uh, a source to power it so you click it right there looks way much better than the other cable and uh, this I'm gonna go ahead and power it with my power bank right here yep there you go so we got the G story turning on and put this to the side and let's see is the nintendo switch on it says no signal there you go make sure you actually put that correctly completely and there you go once you put it correctly it's going to be recognized right away there you go so um let's go ahead so when you tap over here the top button first when you tap that button it activates brightness so when you try to activate brightness you know, you could go all the way down, very dark, and go all the way up. It's gonna have a message saying, do you wanna do that? It might use more battery life. Yes, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna put it on 85%. And that's it. So when you press the button, the number one here in the bottom, you got volume. So it says a warning. Do you wanna use up the volume? Cause it's gonna, use a lot of battery life if it's too loud because it gives you that message just in case you're actually using external uh like, you know like the rechargeable batteries and that's it so we got this you know everything looks pretty damn nice it's going to show you guys a video here i like this uh cutscene. Okay. Oh. Oh. this is uh pencil pressure that's how loud the speaker sounds which honestly like you heard right there it does sound pretty loud right. <laughs> that's so cool. right. <laughs> that's awesome 
Same thing. Let's see. I got some gameplays here for uh, <laughs> Mario Donkey Kong versus Donkey Kong. Look at that. That is so cool. The only negative thing I would have to say based on the design is the bezels. Uh, the fact that it has a big bezel, almost uh, a little bit less than an inch on the top and on the bottom. Other than that, I think the screen looks pretty good. Very bright. I think it's around 400 nits, which is not bad for a handheld. 1080p, like I said, but you know, it's 16 by 9, which is great, 16 by 9. But if they would have shrink, shrunk it a little bit more. You know, at least a half an inch on both sides. I think it would have looked a lot better and a lot, a lot smaller as well. Pretty damn cool. Let me go ahead and share some gameplay here for Mortal Kombat. Okay. Never cross paths with a movie star. I think you're yeah, baby. Mega star. So you can see a peacemaker has a new helmet. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> And remember, it should look better than the than the handheld because this is actually behaving like if it's connected to a dock. So when it's connected to here, the game should actually be running at a, a better better resolution. Okay, you know what? I want to do the X-ray move. Go. Kick my ass. Kick my ass. I'm letting you. <laughs> what? Hey. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Peacemaker wins. So there you have it. That's how it looks here on this device. I'm going to go ahead and try another game. That way you guys can see a look at wildcard football playing here on the big device. So let's go ahead and change the game. So to change the cartridge, all you have to do is lift this up, right? And just open it up like that. Um, you might have a little bit of uh, problems taking it out depending on your finger. But just make sure you try to take it out sideways and then you'll have no problems taking it out. So now I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of wildcard football here on this device because... Uh, it's I've been actually liking it and I like the way it looks here on the device in handheld mode and um, you know, Colors pop up That's and everything right. really cool to from head to toe. Man sound is pretty loud right, A little bit I like that the screen actually looks pretty bright very nice color pops really awesome and of course 1080p on a 10 inch screen. I think it's very clear to see Sweet spot right there. Angles. Pretty good. Coin toss. Damn, that sounds loud as hell. Those two watts are actually pretty damn loud. Wow. 
Piece of cake. So I think I might upload another video. Oh my god, this is too loud, bro. Wow. <laughs> I am screaming here. Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> I'll finish the video when I finish this, uh, get this chest on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Let's go and try for the way. That's not good. There you go. <laughs> Touchdown. Celebrate tonight. <laughs> yeah, baby. Go for the field goal. Nice, look at the background and everything. Looks pretty nice. Okay. So there you have it, guys. This was a look at the G-Story uh, screen for the Nintendo Switch. If you want to get a 10.1 handheld device that it plays native Nintendo Switch game and every other game. <laughs> This is it. It looks pretty damn good. I, I really like this options. Like I say, in the market, there's not too many options when it comes to, or choices when it comes to these type of devices for the Nintendo Switch. There's this one and the Orion one. And this is by far way better quality wise and even price wise. Oh, another thing you can actually do here that I didn't do on this video. Um, you can use this as an external screen. Like if you need an external screen for a device. You can actually hook it up here to USB-C port and you can actually display your laptop here as well. You can use this as a external screen as well. And right now with the kickstand, you leave it like that and you have, you know, you can go ahead and watch your movies. Uh, you can use it with a uh, power bank, which is the one that I'm using over here. It's the one that I did a video a couple weeks ago. And it's really damn cool. It's really damn cool. I, really, I think it's really nice. The colors looks nice and popping there. Look at that. So damn cool. So damn cool. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this device making the getting a 10.1 inch screen for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's awesome. It's not OLED, but I think it still looks good. The 1080p, 60 FPS, you know. I think it actually looks pretty damn cool. Of course, like I said, the top bezels and low bezels, I wish they were a little bit smaller or thinner. But other than that, I think it's pretty damn cool freaking device. Thanks for watching this video. Links for this in my descriptions. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.